morning, y'all. Grandma Rose here. I want to look at this Celosia closer. And maybe something else while I'm over here. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Most of this is going to seed. Hey, it continues to grow and get taller, but let me show you here. Here's a good example right there. See the celosia, all of the seed. I don't know if you can see this in here. And it's just full of seeds. Each one of those little flowers on that spike has, I don't know how many seeds in it. Maybe I should look and see. There's another one right there. Can you see all the seeds in there? It's incredible. Okay, so this is Celosia. There's some more right there. Really pretty. And I've shown you this before as a flower, but it never occurred to me that it was a, that it was actually a um, an herb until I was looking up something yesterday. Let me turn this over. I want you to see the spider. If I can find him, I see the right in there. You see that? That's his. That's the egg case. So there's bound to be a spider. I see it. There's a spider right over behind it. I can get to it and turn this over without it crawling on me. I don't want him crawling on me. There he is. I see him right in here. Here's a spider. That's the back side of it. I don't know if that's the eyes or the I think that is actually the, the front of it. Leave them alone. I have some other pictures of it I'll show you. Not of that one, but I have some other pictures. Look at it, it's laying eggs. Look at that egg case on it. Can you see it? Watch that, look at that. I was out here cutting, down, cutting some celosia flowers to save the seeds, and I saw the spider, and I thought, this is fascinating. I know a lot of you don't like spiders, and I'm not necessarily crazy about spiders, but I thought this was fascinating, and I thought you might want to watch too. So it's green. It would be hidden here in the flowers, here in the leaves. In fact, I didn't see it. I haven't seen it all the times I've been out here. But isn't that something? I thought you would like to see that. Okay. We didn't come out here to look at spiders anyway. We came up here, out here to look at Celosia. So here is the Celosia. Now, this, I don't, I don't know what kind this is that makes this feathery part like that. Now, I know that when it looks like this right here, that's Celosia spicata, like a spike, spikata, spicata. And according to what I read yesterday, it's a valuable herb, and I did not know it. Here's more of it. Look at this right in here. Look at all the seeds down in here. It's incredible. When I get inside, I'm going I'll get the computer and I will read what I what I found out about the celosia. Cuz I don't have it memorized. But what I read in this article was you take like a teaspoon or two of the seeds and then you steep them and you drink them two or three times a day for whatever the illness is that you've got. To the cook and the practitioner of folk medicine, this member of the amaranth family is also reliable in the kitchen as a nutritious food and in the clinic as a balm that soothes. Celosia has long been celebrated in two key areas, improving vision and curtailing various types of bleeding. It's used in case of retinal degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, Blurred vision, cataracts, bloodshot eyes. Um, it's also used to treat uterine bleeding, bloody stool, and bleeding hemorrhoids. In fact, 
Every part of the Celosia plant occupies a valued niche in the world of natural healing. The flowers bring diarrhea under control while the leaves are used as dressings for boils and sores. The seeds ease stress centered within the chest and they're rendered into poultices applied to broken bones. The leaves in the young shoots can be cooked and eaten as a vegetable. In this capacity, Celosia has been hailed as the easiest vegetable to cultivate as it requires nothing other than planting and harvesting. No special equipment, no fertilizer, no preserving. It has been eaten with gusto in various parts of Africa for centuries. And then this article goes on and on and on. And it says it got its name from the Greek term kilos for burned. Celosia includes a species, Celosia spicata, featuring a flower that resembles a flame in both shape and color. These blue flowers that you see are, the common name for it is perennial ageratum. Ageratum is an, is an annual that looks just like this, called ageratum. But this is actually in the, um, oh, what family is it? Eupatorium family. The scientific name for this is Eupatorium celestinum, like celestial. So it's, what celestial be? Starry, you know, like a starry night. Celestial. They're really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. And growing together, they're, these are just gorgeous growing together. This right here is my lemon basil. Yum. Oh, it smells so good. So pretty. Pretty pretties. Celosia and perennial ageratum. Bye y'all. See you next time.